Terry Gross is not a lesbian. Just a young by heart personality with a low key husband who likes to talk about stuff. Terry Gross was frequently assumed to be a lesbian. In an interview back in July 2012, she shared an incident of a party where her sexuality was being talked about, but being a good sport, she didn't make a big deal out of it. The spouse of a recipient went up to my late mother in law and said, That's Terry Gross. Did you know she's a lesbian? She just thought that was hysterical. There's actually a website called NNDB where they list people's biographical statistics, like your date of birth and religion. They have my sexual orientation as matter of dispute. Terry Gross met her husband, Francis Davis in Philly, 1978, while he was working at the University of Pennsylvania campus in a listening booth. A mutual friend of Terry and Francis used to work at the same record shop, and as Terry visited the shop to buy records, she got to know about Francis's huge record collection. That was when she finally decided to feature him regularly on WHYY, related to rare jazz music. Recalling the beautiful moment, she shared the memories in an interview with The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon in August 2017. He wrote me this script and it was so beautifully written. His use of language was so great. I started falling in love with him and his writing and his taste in music all at the same time. The initial meeting was only a start of the lifelong bond which blossomed and eventually culminated into marriage. Terry and Francis got married in 1994, and the bond has only strengthened ever since. Terry gushed about her relationship with her husband in an interview with Vanity Fair September 2012. When asked about her idea of perfect happiness, Terry answered, A glass of wine, a good dinner with my husband, and a day ahead of me without a deadline is close enough. Moreover, when asked about her greatest extravagance, she replied, eating out with my husband every night. Similarly, when asked about the greatest love of her life, her answer was her husband, my husband, Francis Davis, who is also one of my favorite writers. Furthermore, when asked about the happiest time of her life, once again, 